Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you guys how a two-tone bumper gets painted. When I say two-tone, I mean that one color is on the bottom and one color is on the top. So this is going to be two different colors. Now I want to show you how to do this job the way I would do it. And I have to hurry up because I have a lot of work to do. And I basically want to show you guys how a job like this is done and the best way to do it if you can. And what I'm going to do here is that because I have more work, like I said, I have a lot of work. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to coat this bumper with the bottom color first. I'm going to coat the whole bumper. I'm going to go to my next job and leave this drying. And then when I finish my other job, I'm going to come back and tape up the bottom of this bumper and put the second coat on the top and then clear everything one shot. So let me show you the car that this bumper goes to. This is a Ford Explorer. It's a fairly old car, like a 2004. Now let me show you what the color looks like. Okay, you see that car right there? That is a Ford Explorer that I have to paint. So the top color on this car is black. Now the bottom color is a different color. The bottom color is like a champagne with a little bit of blue in it type of color that I have to paint and that's what goes on the bottom of the pump. So something that you have to be careful for is like this is a metallic color. The top of the truck is black. There's no metallics in straight black and when you're painting two different colors and one is a metallic and one is a black, you have to be careful that you don't get the metallics on the black. So that's why I like to do first the metallic color and then very, very thoroughly clean my gun because if you get metallics on the black, it's gonna look very unprofessional and it's not gonna look good and it might be troublesome because that's not gonna work. You don't want the metallics in the black. So always make sure that when you're gonna paint something black, after you paint metallics, you clean your gun very well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I got my bottom color here, this is the metallic color. I'm gonna put three to four coats of base coat on the whole bumper, cover everything. And then I'm gonna let that dry while I go paint my next job. While I'm taping the bumper up, my colleague is going to be getting the car ready for me and I'm going to be doing the bumper. So what I'm going to do with the bumper here is I'm going to tape up, right? I'm going to stay right in this line and I'm going to tape all this up, all this bottom area. Now this bumper is completely dry. It's been drying for like two hours, so my base coat is good and I'm good to tape it up. Let's go. So 
So what I'm doing first is I'm outlining all the areas where I'm gonna put my paper to cover the bottom of the bumper. Then I leave like a quarter inch of space on top of this tape where I could put my fine line there. It was just gonna be my final taping. So let's go. Now that all my tape is outlined on the bottom, see this? All my tape is all out outlined. You see what I mean? I left like a quarter inch to put my fine line. That's gonna be the last step. See that? All across the bumper, all across the bottom of the bumper. Now my next step is gonna to be to put paper all across the bottom of the bumper. That's number two. That's the second step is to cover all this with paper. See, this is the best way to cover it quickly is to just put paper on it. Because if you try to put all tape on there, it's gonna use like two rolls of tape. It's just a waste of tape. So just cover it with paper, you should be good. What I'm doing here is the paper, you know, it's a little bit longer than the bottom of the bumper. I'm wrapping it around and taping it up to the other side just to make sure that it's nice and tight and no air gets through there and gets any paint inside of where I don't want any paint to fall because I want this to stay that metallic color that's already painted. Okay, now let's go over a couple of things and let me show you where we're at right now so that you can see the process that it takes to do this kind of job. So you saw when I put the three quarter inch tape to start my line, that way I know where I'm gonna put my paper, right? So this is where we are now. I have my paper on here, see that? All on there, and let me show you what I did. I put my paper on here, inside of these smaller areas, I just put inch and a half tape just to get in here because it's a little, you know, it's a little tighter, so I was able to just put the paper all across the front of the bumper and then these smaller areas, I just took the tape and taped it up. So this is where we are now. Everything is covered up with paper and tape. Now I'm gonna take this little bit of quarter inch that I left left for I can put my fine line. I'm gonna go get my fine line and start taping this up with fine line. And we're basically ready for our, my black paint. Okay, here I got my fine line. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, I do have a video on how I apply my fine line tape. I'll leave a link at the end of this video if you guys want to check that out. But it's basically just a last step. So that way this tape leaves a better, nicer, cleaner edge when you use it as opposed to using the regular masking tape that doesn't really leave a nice, clean, straight edge when you use it. This is a better edge whenever you need to do a paint job like this or something that you're gonna paint that needs to get taped up, use this tape, this fine line tape, and it'll leave a nice cleaner edge on your paint every time. Back to work. More pressure. spray that gets into those areas. So always apply pressure and these little these little corners where you bend the tape over, especially in those corners, make sure you apply extra pressure because the tape will bend. And when it bends it leaves a little crease and when the, when you have a little crease sometimes paint will blow in there and, and will leave a very ugly line and you have to flip everything around tape up the top part and then blow a little bit of color in there that's just double the work but this is how it's supposed to look now that this is done i'm ready for my top color which is going to be black just like the truck and then once i paint the top color black i remove all of the paper and tape 
and then clear coat. I gotta go get my gun ready, clean it all up. I basically, what I do is, I take my gun apart. I take it apart, make sure I have no metallics left in there because I'm painting black. And if you don't make sure that there's no metallics in your gun, you will have metallics in the black and that's not gonna be good. So I'm gonna take it all apart, clean it up real good, and then start painting my black. Okay, now I'm ready to apply my black. But before I go and put any paint on, I go over all my tape, all my fine line, press it down nice and pressed, and then I start applying my paint. I always take that extra step to press down on everything right before I'm gonna paint and right before I'm gonna apply my clear. But since all that's coming off, when I'm gonna clear, that doesn't matter in this case. But when I do have fine line on, I always press it on a couple of times. In this case, I don't have to do it because everything's coming off and I'm gonna clear the whole bumper and it's gonna look great. Okay, bumper's all dry, everything's all painted. Now I'm getting ready to take all the tape off and all the paper and do the final reveal and then clear coat. Let's take the paper off. Come on guys, let's go.